ombudsman, a person who should be supported by all political parties to ensure a new transparent and open we'll future this, uh, for the appointment of the head of the analog corruption directorate and to make Panasonic RF62D. RF562D. Very poor results in this year's baccalaureate exam. This is Radio Romania on 15 220. Romania failing to pass completely the baccalaureate exam. Uh, there are high schools where no very good reception using only in localities where the telescopic antenna. Exam. Yearbook arrest: 15% of pupils passed the exam, while only 43% of pupils passed the baccalaureate exam at the national level. Education and now Minister, we will try with the Texan on the same signal. So this is for Texan R9012 analog. We should appoint competent people who know what an education system should be. Of course, with telescopic antenna only. Cold yellow and orange alerts have been in place in Romania this week as well. The south of the country was mainly affected. Temperatures reaching 39 degrees Celsius. Traffic of vehicles heavier than 7.5 tons. And finally, our little Degen DE15 with the same signal. And that's all from the week in with the telescopic antenna. And of course we'll go back to the Panasonic. Kira and Daniel Zitz, Jean-Pierre and Luc Sardin, two of the world's most highly acclaimed filmmakers to come from Belgium. So basically, if you really want a nice, analog, sensitive radio, the clear winner here is the Panasonic RF562. As part of a special event to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the delegation's opening an office in Romania. The film distributed by Independenza Film was then shown in cinemas across Romania. The Kid with the Bike is so this was a little compare competition at between festival in 2011 when it won the Grand radios Panasonic RF562 Texan R9012 and of course Dijon DE15 shortwave receivers to find the father abundant him